There are dozens of thousands of people who had to leave their homes on Santa Cruz County's north coast and in the mountains. The CZU Lightning Complex fires continue to rage. 57,000 acres burned, but we also finally have containment at 2% tonight. However, it is destructive as you see in these videos. 97 structures and counting, many of them homes. The areas of Bonnie Doon and outside Boulder Creek and Ben Lomond have been mentioned as being very hard hit. This is the 10,000 block of Empire grade on your screen now. However, a break of low humidity today has brought the best firefighting conditions of the week, but it is not expected to last. And Cal Fire says if you're evacuated, just stay out. We had last night three separate rescues that pulled our vital, very few resources away to have to rescue those individuals uh, because they put themselves in peril. The sheriff's office is asking people to be prepared for these evacuations to last a couple of weeks. We now turn to John Palminteri, who's been in the Santa Cruz Mountains. And John, residents are hearing of the damage and pleading for more help before other homes and neighborhoods are lost. We're at one of the roadblocks in the base of the Santa Cruz foothills and residents came out of these hills carrying signs and a plea for help. They know California has numerous and massive wildfires going on right now, but they tell me they were hoping to see more firefighters in their communities trying to save their homes. Swanton is gone. What a tragedy. Last chance is gone and Cal Fire couldn't do anything because there were not enough people on the ground. Emotions have been running hot in Bonnie Dune in the Santa Cruz Hills. Displaced residents taking a stand at a roadblock, keeping them from their homes in the eye of a fierce fire. We are here to for a bit an urgent plea to Governor Newsom to release more resources for the fires that are raging in the mountain communities above Santa Cruz. All we ask is that we commit as many resources as we can. Um, there are people, there's, there's still a lot of structures that can be saved. Um, we've lost our home. It's completely burned to the ground. This fire's scary. Um, and I think that one thing we can do to protect Santa Cruz and protect San Lorenzo Valley is to get the resources up here that we need. We went to the incident command team with their message that they respect the firefighters, but they're frustrated about the widespread losses. Typically in an area that size, we would have probably 10, 20 times the resources to combat that fire. We simply don't have it. The number of fires throughout the state, uh, we're really tapped out. We're bringing in stuff from out of state. That, that should indicate that how, how far drawn down we are with resources. And the frontline fight continues where fire crews can take a stand. Here in the hills above UC Santa Cruz, there are numerous spot fires like this, but without driving winds, firefighters say they can handle this. It's conducive to their plan. Residents who have raced from their homes took some pictures of what they saw on their streets as they left, not knowing how much, if anything, would still be standing when this is over. I thought I lost all my worldly possessions when I tried to defend my property as long as I could and I ran out of water pressure and in long story short I drove out through flames and already there are ongoing signs that this will be a long haul to put this fire out and fix the burnt power lines and other infrastructure and the incident commanders tell me that the aircraft they have are having a difficult time hitting their targets or even seeing what they are because of all the smoke so they're hoping for that kind of a break so they can get more air support in and attack from the skies on the ground we know the california firefighters are battle tested they are very thankful that the winds have calmed down and they can start building up those containment lines reporting live in santa cruz I'm John Palminteri. We can get cooperation from the weather, help with more resources. Really would be a great thing, John. Thank you.